Hello everyone. So I was able to get out there this morning. It's a little bit drizzly out. Uh, it was raining so I didn't take the camera. Um, I did get my dog out there with me today. Uh, she, uh, for whatever reason, decided she wanted to go. We, we did do a quick uh, early morning uh, trip to the grocery store, which was her first car ride since we got here. So I think that helped a lot. She uh, likes to have her car ride, so I think that helped her out. Uh, today's run, uh, and I'll put the, the Strava up on the screen, uh, we were able to get uh, a little over six miles. Um, it says 802 per mile, but uh, there was a few places where we stopped to take some pictures and, and some of that stuff. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to pace today, I was just running um, whatever felt good. Um, there was a few times, you know, bathroom breaks that she slowed us down and there was a few times when uh, she wanted to go faster to chase some of the birds and everything out there in the park areas, but uh, next to the Potomac River, but uh, you know, so her pace moderated quite a bit between uh, what felt probably about uh, six minute miles to uh, in some cases nine minute miles, but uh, today I uh, wore A6 glide rides and I'm going to talk a little bit about them. So I've never actually been a fan of A6, um, but I've seen a few reviews online uh, about this shoe so I figured I'd give them a, a try. Uh, I guess, you know, I the ASICS uh, has been making strides here in the last year, so I uh, wanted to give it a try. It has this, uh, I don't know what they call it, a meta arc or something like that. Um, so putting them on was, uh, my first run was a little bit different. I wasn't used to having that rocker type of feel on a shoe. Um, it is a little bit, you know, I'm not going to get into the specifics. If anybody knows my shoe reviews, I just talk about whatever. I don't get down into the scientific data on all the shoes or anything, but uh, a little bit heavier than what I usually use for uh, a longer distance shoe. And that's what I use this for primarily is a just a longer, slow, slower shoe. Uh, but it feels really, really good as well if I pick up that pace, if I'm doing a, a tempo run or a, a threshold run. Uh, feels really good. And, that, and actually it feels better the faster I do go. Uh, the midsole though, it's, it's a fairly soft midsole for, for what I'm used to. Um, so I actually like the feel of this shoe even at a little bit slower of a pace. Uh, if I run a nine minute, 10 minute mile pace, it, it feels good to run that. Um, so I actually do really like this shoe as my daily, and I can't afford a bunch of, of pairs of shoes. So this is actually turned into my daily runner. <laughs> Uh, unless I'm doing, you know, like it, it, my tempos right now, I'm using the uh, um, Hyperion tempos from Brooks, but um, I only have three pairs of shoes. I have this pair of shoes currently, my uh, Hyperion tempos, and then I have a trail shoe, which is the Brooks Caldera 3s that I really like, and that's all I have right now that I run in. So. Uh, So I would actually recommend this shoe. I mean, it feels good. Um, the upper breathes pretty good. And the midsole feels great. Uh, so for me, I think I might actually buy another pair of these um, for my daily trainer. Uh, I do actually really like this shoe. Uh, Looking at the wear on it, you know, I would say I'm probably, I got probably, I think my Strava lies, I'm not gonna, cause I don't, I a lot of times don't run, or I run without uh, 
bringing my watch and uh, and I know a lot of times so I have that uh, wear this shoe at those times too uh, right now it's Stravis says I have Yeah, it says I only have 48 miles on this shoe. I easily have about 100, 120 miles probably on this shoe right now. Uh, based upon how much I know I've ran in this shoe. So, and it's starting to show a little bit of wear. Uh, I am a, more of a midfoot uh, striker. Uh, so, uh, you know that's where I can see the most wear. I I don't have a tendency to pronate or 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 anything, so uh, it wears pretty even. I do I do show a little bit of wear on the toe uh, from the toe off uh, when I when I'm running a little bit faster, but uh, based upon that, I would say I'm probably going to get. Easily, I, I should be able to get probably 400 miles out of this shoe. Because um, like I said, I have over 100 miles. It's just starting to show a little bit of wear. Um, and there's enough rubber on the on the bottom of this shoe that I, I think I'll be able to get easily 400 miles on this shoe. So that was today's, uh, you know, video. Um, uh, you can see my dog. <laughs> oh, my dog is out right now because she, uh, you know, it was her first run in, in probably uh, a good week and a half. So uh, she's uh, a little tuckered out right now after doing six miles. But uh, till then, uh, you know, as you can, practice the social distancing. Uh, follow the uh, guidelines uh, for all your local areas. Um, if you're able to get out there and, and exercise, get out there and, and get some exercise and, and practice this, the social distancing and, and uh, you know, we'll get through this and, and uh, hopefully we can get back out there and, and uh, you know, get back out in our groups and run here in the near future. And uh, till then, I'll see you on the next video. Yeah, you are tuckered out, aren't you? Yeah.